Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you Motion VFX 3D Object Tracking Plugin. This is completely different to the built in tracker that's found in Final Cut Pro version 10.6. Let's have a closer look. So, here we are inside Final Cut Pro version 10.6. I already pre selected some of the footage that I have right here. And what we're going to do once you have this 3D object tracker installed for Motion VFX, you're going to find it within the effects panel. Just drag and drop end tracker 3D, that's what it's called, over your clip. And what the first thing you want to do is, is click on track. This might take a few minutes depending on the size of the clip. And meanwhile, while it's tracking, go ahead and browse through their uh, title library or graphics library. And this actually comes in at a bundle that you can get with the 3D object tracker. So you get these coffee cups, bowls, you know, utensils and such. And then you have some cool icons, you know, bowling pins, shapes, and all that stuff. You even have some captions and text and titles here too. On top of that, you can even put in a drop zone. So if you have your own custom image or even a logo, you can do that as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is different compared to the object tracker that's seen in Final Cut Pro version 10.6. That's because this tracks everything in 3D space and it tracks camera movement unlike Final Cut, which actually tracks the object. So it's completely different here. All right, looks like we're all analyzed. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find a cool text. Uh, concrete looks nice. I'm gonna drag and drop it over the clip that I analyzed. I'm gonna readjust the length of this text and I'm gonna click on the clip, copy the track, and I'm gonna paste it to this title here. You're gonna see that option come up right here, paste track. And now the camera movements have been basically integrated into the text. So before we actually play back the footage, let's position the text inside of this shot. So I'm going to click on this target icon here and you'll notice this little uh, cool animation here. It's actually going to show you the orientation of the text. I'm going to place it in this corner here. Actually, let me reposition it in a different area. You'll notice, depending on where you position it in the frame, it's going to change size. So I'm going to hold down shift and it's going to keep the same orientation no matter where I have the mouse. All right, let's play it back. Look at that. You can't even tell that this text is not a part of the whole scene. It just tracks so seamlessly. And on top of that, with this text, we have a bunch of different parameters that we can play with, such as light fall off, shadows, and, and so forth. So I can easily just, honestly, just put momentum there. And look at that. I mean, it's... Even, even look at how the letters just touch the ground. We can even adjust it a little bit to make it look more realistic by adjusting the rotation. Alright, that's pretty good. We can... You position it just a little bit. You can use your arrow keys to go throughout the clip right about there. And if you play back the clip, I mean, it, it plays back flawlessly. And by the way, I'm editing this on the new MacBook Pro M1 Max. So this plugin is fully compatible with this setup. Okay, moving on to the next shot here of me riding this scooter uh, throughout this scene here. And what I want to do, I want to add this location pin to this clip. So same process as before, I'm gonna drag and drop the M Tracker 3D plugin onto this clip and then I'm gonna hit track. And it's gonna take a minute or two to analyze everything. Remember, it takes a process to, a pretty significant process to track all of the camera movements. Great, so we're all tracked. I'm gonna to go to this location icon here, just drag and drop it. Same process as before. Copy the track from the clip and paste it onto the icon clip. Now we're just going to go ahead and just reposition the icon by hitting the target. I'm going to put it maybe right over here. Look at the size of that thing. And if you notice, you can see a drop shadow here, which makes it even more realistic. All right, so let's play back the clip. And what I want you to focus on is that you know, this is a drone shot, but notice how this plugin actually tracks the pan, tilt, and even the scale very easily. So let's play back the clip. Look at that. It just tracks so seamlessly, guys. 
And of course, this footage has not been pre-rendered or proxified or anything like that, so it's playing back a tiny bit choppier. But, I mean, it's, it's working really well. I'm gonna actually adjust the scale, make it a little bit smaller so it fits better into the frame. And let's play it back. It tracks seamlessly with the shot, guys. And don't forget, because this is a 3D object, it's gonna demand more processing power, which is why it's playing back at slightly less frames than usual. But again, it's tracking both scale, rotation, and pans, and, and all of that stuff. So really nice 3D tracking here. And let's have a look at this last shot here. It's very jumpy, a lot of different movements happening. Let's see how well M-Tracker 3D tracks this shot. Now, quick note, since this is the M-Tracker 3D bundle, I do get some extra icons and text and graphics. So if you really want all of these different options, guys, make sure you select the 3D bundle when you check out, okay? And uh, yeah, I mean, just look how many options you have here. Definitely a good amount. <laughs> <laughs> for you to go through especially while it's analyzing and tracking the shot. All right now that the shot has been tracked Let's go ahead and put in an emoji. So look at this angry emoji right here This is all done in 3d So it's gonna look super real if you put it in the shot I'm gonna drag and drop it over the clip and next I'm gonna copy the track and paste it to the emoji now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna position the emoji, and now let's see how well it tracked. Take a look at the emoji. It stays fixated in one certain spot and moves along with the jumpiness of the camera movement. Again, if you wanna make this more realistic, add a little Gaussian blur over the emoji to match the depth of field of the whole shot. But then again, I mean, this is probably a very jumpy shot on its own, and the fact that M-Tracker 3D can track this flawlessly and in 3D space is a pretty big deal. And with this emoji, again, you can change a lot of parameters here. Just take a look at the different light colors, the ambient light colors. Remember, you're doing this in 3D space, so there's a lot of light happening here, especially with the shadows and the reflections on this emoji to make it appear like it is in 3D. So this is definitely a lot of options here. And you know what? I'm gonna make a whole different set of videos just on these options because this is just too much to cover in one video. But if you're excited about M-Tracker as much as I am, you're gonna check out the link down below and see what this thing can do. Uh, I'm gonna start using this in a lot of my different projects. And I know that you will too because you basically have After Effects built into Final Cut Pro with this plugin. It's absolutely bonkers, all right? And I never use that word, by the way. All right, so uh, check out the link down below, guys. I hope this video has helped you out, and I will see you later.